10 minute time limit from Anderson, South Carolina at 220 pounds. Here's Jerry Mahoney. Jerry Mahoney. His partner from Florida, 208 pounds. Meet Mike Fever. Mike Fever. Their opponents from Los Angeles, California at 331 pounds. Big John Stud. John Stud. His partner from Canada at 281 pounds. Meet Iron Mike Sharp. Your referee is George Scott Jr. We'll be back with our first match after this brief timeout. There's the bell. Referee George Scott Jr. John Stud and Iron Mike Sharp Stud in the pale blue uh, wrestling uh, tights and trunks. And it's Mahoney and Fever. One fall, 10 minute time limit in this event. An Australian tag team. That's how you see Fever in the far corner. Mahoney tangles up very quickly with John Stud. Look at the size of this man, Stud, though. And even he uh, would look, comparatively speaking, would look smaller next to Andre the Giant. Here you see this man, Stud, has just uh, tremendous uh, physical prowess. Shoulder smash, drop him back to the canvas, brings him back to his feet. Just brings him up, runs him into the knee of Iron Mike Sharp, and Sharp out of Canada makes the tag. Sharp on 280 pounds, big, rugged, powerful individual. He and Stud, an awesome guy. Mahoney fires to the midsection. It's Sharp retaliating. Again, Mahoney to the midsection, and again, Sharp with a forearm across the back, catching him right across the shoulder blade. And again, Mahoney caught in the pit of the stomach, and uh, Fever makes the tag. Mike Fever moves out. Fever getting away some weight, has good speed, good agility. Collar and elbow back against the ring rope. And it's uh, Sharp missing with a wild right hand. George Jr. warned him briefly about closing up that fist. Paul Nelson by Iron Mark Sharp. And Mr. Fever is going to have his problems now. I'm going to figure he either makes it, or he does. He makes it to the ring ropes. Tag is made. Big John Stud. Forearm across the back of Fever before he even steps over the top ropes. Wow. Right over the top ropes into the ring. Full body slam. The elbow across the uh, back of uh, Mike Fever. Fever driven back into that turnbuckle by uh, Big John Stud. Stud now use that right hand as a club. Fever with a form to the midsection had little or no effect on Stud. Stud brings him up, has him in a uh, variation of the bear hug. Notice he's only uh, under the rib cage on one side, directly under it. Into the turnbuckle and then uh, makes the tag with uh, Mike Sharp. Sharp drives a knee into the back of Mike Fever. Mahoney, refreshed from being outside the ring, charges in on Iron Mike Sharp. Sharp turns around, forearm and a left to the midsection. Good reversal by Mahoney. Good reversal, but as he charged in, Sharp caught him with a forearm and now Sharp. Using that forearm very effectively. Some double teaming here as they have uh, Mahoney. Caught him just on the count of four, barely within the legal limitations. Big John Stud catches him in a bear hug. That one is squarely across the uh, back rib cage. Mahoney firing away, but uh, has little or no effect on Stud. That one uh, forced the break, however. Stud caught fever, broke up the possibility of a tag combination there. Off the ropes, catches Mahoney. Makes the tag, Iron Mike Sharp moves in once again. Remember this match, one fall with a 10 minute time limit. And Mike Sharp now has Mahoney across those top ring ropes. And there you 
see again double teaming on the part of Stud and Sharp. And Mahoney being beaten and beaten on that uh, midsection. Beaver tried to interfere. Sharp cast him aside. Mahoney back to the canvas once again. A uh, hip toss that has uh, Mahoney back to the canvas. Another high uh, hip toss. Almost into a hype situation there. The Cornish hype, uh, which is a very popular in England, Wales, and Ireland. And of course, I'm sure that it uh, carried over into Canada. And that, of course, is where Iron Mike Sharp is from. Fever makes the tag. Fever. Look by uh, Big John Studd, and it is uh, Sharp taking advantage of that situation. Has him up against the ring ropes. Fever in a lot of trouble, trying to get over, trying to get over to make the tag with Mahoney. And it is uh, Fever making that tag with Mahoney. Mahoney moves back into the ring. They lock up collar and elbow. Sharp pulls him back into the turnbuckle of the forearm and then a left to the midsection. Brings him up to the full body slam. Brings Mahoney back to his feet once again. Iron Mike Sharp now handling the man uh, like a sack of vegetables. And now it is uh, Big John Studd over that top rope. The other, only other man I see do that with any regularity is Andre the Giant. Had him up into what could have been a pile driver. Now has him in a backbreaker. Both arms pinned across the front. And it is uh, Mahoney very, very quickly conceding uh, from that uh, variation of a backbreaker. Extremely painful, those abdominal muscles being pulled, the back muscles being pulled, particularly down in that lumbar region. And so, your victors, the tag team combination of Iron Mike Sharp and Big John Studd.